Welcome back YouTube fellow berserkers. Today is a wonderful sunny day here at the Viking camp. And you can really tell that spring is on its way. The bees have awakened from the midst of winter sleep and are hard at work. They're already bringing back pollen, which is probably from the hazel, which is blooming here. Right there, I don't know if the focus can get it. Right there, yeah. We've got out enormous amounts of this growing in this local area, so that's probably what they're bringing back at the moment. That's the first plant that I've been, actually tree that's been uh, actually starting out this season is hazel. I'm sure there's a couple different ones, but uh, this one is, is very popular at this time of the year. We've got lots of bee activity over here too. Uh, but this this little colony right here, this is my favorite colony. I'm I'm glad they survived the winter. And this one was actually really strong. I opened them up the other day. There were so many bees in that I had to put a second box, and I'm going to let them brood a second uh, brood chamber. So that's going to be my 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 colonies that I'm going to use to make bee splits, so that I can multiply the bee population. I like these two colonies. These small ones over here, they're doing all right. I had one that unfortunately did not make the winter time. I opened them up, they, did, they lost their queen somehow. So that didn't work out, unfortunately. But I have good hopes for these two here. They're doing all right. They're very small right now. I've, I've put some, uh, some feed inside there. It's like a sugar paste that you can buy at the bee store. You can also make yourself, but I, uh, I tried to go with the, the ready mix this time to see how that works out to give them a little energy boost while they get the year started. Yeah, they're getting to come out and navigate the area, get some water, come out, and uh, clean out the, the beehive. They're throwing out all the dead bees on the ground here. They're pushing out all the wintertime bees. In the next couple of weeks, a lot of these winter bees will be dying as uh, these summer bees will start to uh, will start to hatch here in the next two or three weeks. I've also got already got uh, brood on a couple of the uh, frames, which is really cool. Really good head start. You can hear the birds. Yeah, that's where I used to have them up there. I used to have the bees over there. It's, it's a really slow, uh, slight incline that goes up that direction. It was really hard to drive up there. I had to always ruin, ruin some of my flowers, which was kind of uh, due to lack of good planning. So I guess I trial and error. I set this area up over here, which is perfect. I can drive in from the from the entrance and just pull up right up here, a couple feet away, so the dogs don't get infested with bees, and just walk up here and service the bee station. I've got my bee tools, most of what I need right there. Some of my springtime seeds that I'll be sowing here in the field. And I'm going to have a farmer friend of mine come out here and till all of those, um, till all of that over again. And I'm going to put sections of different crops, like the section, sections of different bees, flowers, and I'm going to see if I can actually grow some type of useful food. I have to think about uh, what I'm going to do. And then I need to think about the Viking camp. We need to expand it. We need to work on a, a, a structure this, this summer. That's, that's going to be the goal for this year. The van back there with the dogs. And I've got the forest over here. I've, I've got to take care of all this uh, firewood here too. But this is all birch mostly in the front area here, which is really good for carving kuksa. So I'm not going to burn that. I'm going to cut that in proper sizes and stack it up behind here and let it season slowly under a tarp and uh, practice making my kuksas until I get really good at it because I'm having some uh, some learn trial by error trial and error situation with the kuksa crackings trying different things there we go we got all the bee activity yeah that's pretty cool that's really exciting I made my day I was very happy to see this they're out moving around. It's not that warm yet. The sun has just began to to uh, set over here behind the trees. 
So we're gonna have to get going. It's gonna get cold here in a little bit. It's gonna chill out. And uh, hopefully this weekend we're gonna have like 20 degrees Celsius. That's what the weather report said. Really, really excited. My new trailer is on the way. We'll have a new trailer for the for project. I just almost got hit by a bee. It landed on the floor. You okay, little bee? There he is, right there, there, right there. Seems to be fine, we'll take off here in another second. Got pollen already, look at that. That's awesome. We'll leave the bee alone. And uh, we'll walk over here. I'm gonna go check out all the plants, take a good look at them, and then that'll be all for today. Hopefully soon we'll have all this will be green, blossom, beautiful springtime. So stay safe and I'll see you soon with a new project.